Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enter music in different voices here in Dorico, the new music notation software from Steinberg. Now, when you're in note input, you may have noticed this little note that's part of the carrot. Well, that's showing you the nominal stem direction of the active voice you are inputting music into at that moment. When you need to add music to a new voice, then simply press Shift V and you'll see that this little plus sign appears to indicate you're adding a new voice and the stem direction is now showing as down. Now I can go ahead and enter some more notes and they are entered in the second voice here with the stems of the first voice now automatically pointing upwards. Now that I have two voices, I can cycle between them by pressing the key command V on its own. If I find that I need a third voice, I can press Shift V again, and before I add any notes, I can cycle between a second new upstem voice or a second new downstem voice. There is no limit to the number of voices I can add, and Dorico will do a great job laying them out sensibly in the music. Sometimes, as you add additional voices to your music, you may find that Dorico is automatically padding out the bar with rests that you don't want to see. It's easy to control this. Firstly, you can identify which voice notes and rests belong to by opening the View menu and selecting Note Colors, then Voice Colors. We see here in green that the rests are in the same voice as this low G. I don't need to see the voice colors any longer, so I can press Ctrl Z to undo. That's Command Z on Mac. So I'll select the G and open the Properties panel by clicking on this long button on the status bar, or by using the key command Ctrl 8. That's Command 8 on Mac. To prevent the quarter note rest at the beginning of the bar from drawing, I simply switch on this Starts Voice property and the rest disappears. Because this note is also the last note in the voice, I can switch on the Next property to set Ends Voice and that removes any subsequent rests in that particular voice. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider liking it by clicking on the thumbs up button and you can subscribe to our Dorico channel to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.